Targeted financial sanctions against terrorism and the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction aim to freeze and prevent funds or other assets from being made available to the following. Any individual, entity, or group designated in the local terrorist list or by the UNSC in its consolidated list. Any individual or entity designated by the United Nations Security Council for proliferation financing in relation to Iran and North Korea's weapons of mass destruction programs. Targeted financial sanction measures must also be applied to any entity owned or controlled directly or indirectly by a designated individual, entity, or group, or any individual or entity acting on behalf of or at the direction of any designated individual, entity, or group. In compliance with Cabinet Decision No. 74 of 2020, all natural and legal persons should apply the following steps to implement targeted financial sanctions. Step 1. Subscribe to the Executive Office for Control and Non-Proliferation's Notification System. As a reporting entity, you are required to subscribe to access this service. For more details, please refer to our video titled, Sanctions Lists, and Subscription to Receive Updates. Step 2. Screen Customers' Information. As part of the due diligence process, you should conduct regular database and transaction screening against names on the local terrorist list and UN consolidated list. They should include the list of existing customer databases, the names of parties to any transactions, any potential customers, the beneficial owners, the names of individuals or entities with direct or indirect relationships with designated individuals, entities, or groups. At a minimum, screening should be conducted in the circumstances mentioned in the TFS guideline issued by the Executive Office. Step 3. Apply targeted financial sanctions. If you identify a confirmed match to any designated individual, entity, or group on the local terrorist list or UN consolidated lists, you must implement targeted financial sanctions immediately. You must freeze without delay any asset owned or controlled by the individual, entity, or group that is designated in the sanctions list or owned by a person or entity acting on behalf of the designated individual, entity, or group. You must ensure that all goods, assets, or services to the designated individual, entity, or group, or anyone acting on their behalf are prohibited. If you identify a partial name match to any designated individual, entity, or group in the local terrorist list or UN consolidated lists that you are unable to verify, you must suspend without delay any transaction and refrain from offering any funds or services. Step 4. Report. When a confirmed match is identified, it is an obligation to report it by submitting a Fund Freeze Report, or FFR, through the GoAML platform within five business days. The FFR should include all the information of the measures taken, the type of funds or other assets that have been frozen, and any other relevant information. The report will be received simultaneously by the Executive Office for Control and Non-Proliferation and your supervisory authority. Additionally, when a partial name match is identified, it is also an obligation to report it by submitting a partial name match report, or PNMR, through the GoAML platform within five business days. The PNMR should include all the information of the suspension measures taken and any necessary information and documents regarding the name match. Suspension measures must remain in place until further instructions are received via the GoAML platform from the Executive Office for Control and Non-Proliferation. The Executive Office for Control and Non-Proliferation have published a detailed guideline on the implementation of targeted financial sanctions. The guideline can be found on the Executive Office for Control and Non-Proliferation website by visiting www.eocn.gov.ae. For more information on the implementation of targeted financial sanctions, please visit our webpage www.eocn.gov.ae or contact us by sending an email to tfs at eocn.gov.ae.